My name is Johannes Kreyer. I am the instrument of this history, but I am of no consequence. My tale is of a painting. A singular painting. A unique painting. Given life by the greatest artist of his day. Cornelius de Witt. The seed for its commission was Lord William of Orange's final victory, the end of long years of war. in error made tangible. In a work of art. It was to the completion of this painting that much was paid in cruelty, including the death of my master by his own hand. But I tell this tale backwards, my friend. Permit me to return to the beginning. such a thing. Do you wish to be the false man? Then don't look away. Be glad you have a teacher who correctly understands beauty and shows you such things. Could such a thing be contrived? No! See how he strains and struggles for breath. something for the painting. It was wounded and captured by our Lord William. He thought correctly that it would be of use to me. reputation for perversity, and he delighted in it. He called beauty what others would call horror. He loved the ugly, the hideous, the profane, and the decayed.
centerpiece. The centerpiece lacks model. Yet Cornelius, the unscrupulous Cornelius, did have one human trait. This was his love for his only child, the little serving maid at the court of Lord William, Anna Maria. See, you have been taking the air. I've been doing likewise. Though I dare say the pleasure of it is waning as the years pass. We shall continue this conversation. You will attend upon me this evening. Despite my cruel master, I remained. I admit that I was entranced by the painting. It seemed, though the God-fearing could only disapprove of his methods, that they were the means of creation of something that had never before been seen on this earth. Keep to your task! I have not seen that dress before. Lord William, such an intimate gift is not given without purpose, my dear. Cornelius, it has been long since you have come and told me what use you have made of my patronage. My daughter. Your daughter? You will recall that my daughter is in your employ, sir. I ask that you release her from your service. I will not. Imagine, most excellent lord, that our great sovereign could take any interest 
in a mere serving girl. To me, an old man, she is much, much more. Therefore, I ask you again. Release her. Recollect yourself! And your situation! Recall, if you will, that your hell painting will see its completion only at my whim. Do not presume to interfere with my prerogatives. have I brought upon you. On that day, progress on the painting stopped. Presume congratulations are in order. Congratulations are not in order. I cannot complete the painting. The centerpiece lacks model. Listen. And listen. Listen to my telling of the image that is still only a, a shadow in my mind. Yes. I cannot convey to you the terrible beauty I yet only eclipse, but... The carriage... falling through space, burning a, a woman trapped inside. Yes. Continue. But I... But I cannot paint it. I... I cannot. If only... Can I make you understand that such a thing cannot be contrived? I need this image. I cannot escape it. It must be so. Burn a carriage for me. Well done! Very well, I grant your request in its entirety. We'll burn a carriage for you. You will have your model.
Tonight, to fulfill your wish, I will burn a carriage for you. Look well, and do not flinch from what you see. Look well, and perhaps you will glimpse hell itself. <laughs> by the rain and wind of years into oblivion. 